Hello everyone, this is Inspire2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your presence, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Libra, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week commencing the 13th until the 19th of June 2016. The first card for you is representing the past position of your love life. Your card is the strength. Once you learn how to control your emotions, then you have to learn to rise above them and apply something more. The strength is emotional and about character more than physical strength. The strength card represents an extension of the self and the lesson we learn from the chariot. You must now use fortitude and patience to receive the desired outcome that is just beyond the horizon. There is still work to be done and now that you have learned to control the emotions, you must apply that power of wisdom with a touch of patience. That is true strength and it comes from inside. Do you have the strength within to control your emotions and tame your human desire? This will require both determination and great courage. The power is within the soul and this can be a long process. The second card for you is representing your present love life. Your card is the star. This is a beautiful card to find in any spread, regardless of its position, as it offers faith, hope and optimism. You may be inspired to create, discover a new love of nature, or perhaps take a closer look at all things metaphysical. If we look at the imagery, it depicts a young woman wishing upon a star. When this card appears in a spread it may be time to work on manifesting, vision boards, cosmic ordering or even just writing a list of what you hope to achieve and placing it beneath the stars. Your hopes for the future are now more than far off dreams, success could well be within your grasp and you can now feel satisfied that you have passed through the storm and the sun is finally shining down on you. The third card for you is representing the future of your love life. Your card is the judgment. Something or someone has been a catalyst for change in your life. This may have provoked new levels of thought or feeling and made you rethink old and outdated views. It could be that you feel reborn or feel like you have been given a new lease on life. You may have experienced a life-changing event that has forced you to rethink everything and compensate for your past mistakes, much like the character of Scrooge in Dickens' A Christmas Carol. We all have free will do as we please but in doing so we must live with the consequences of the choices we make. This is how we learn and grow. This is a period of growth for you. Try to embrace the change. It will make the path smoother. The last card for you is guidance for your love life. The guidance card for you is Relationship Dynamics. This card indicates that there have been some changes in one or more of your relationships, with your family, friends, or romantic partner. There's a sense that you have less in common and are growing apart. This may be because you are now more sensitive and more conscious of your feelings when you're with certain people. Perhaps in the past you numbed your emotional awareness, and now your feelings are awake. The most important relationship of all is with yourself, 
So you do need to take care of your feelings and needs in this situation. Yes, relationships involve compromise. But ultimately, if you're denying yourself happiness, this will have a negative impact on the relationship. Therefore, you are guided to be honest with yourself about your needs, even if it means working with a counselor for support. As you make changes, all of your relationships will be affected. It's time for you to sort through your feelings about each of them, to bring healthy balance into your life. Some more additional meanings of the card is Moving your relationship in a healthier direction, a healed relationship with yourself, personal and or marital counseling, a new person entering the picture, and changing the dynamics of other relationships. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.